As a child, I loved being read to. My sister, brother, and I would lie in my mother's bed as they would read me bedtime stories. My favorite bedtime stories were the books Corduroy, The Very Hungry Caterpillar, No David, and Clifford the Big Red Dog. My older brother and sister would take turns reading to me. In kindergarten, we had reading buddies. These were the fifth graders in school who would visit once a week. We got to spend time with them as they just read to us. I remember in elementary school, we would have library time where we got to pick out books to read and have quiet time. At home, I had a cabinet full of my favorite books. My Grammy and I would go to the bookstore called Three Sisters in Shelbyville, where I got to pick out a book of my own and read it. As I got older, my interest of reading dulled. I, fo I found it difficult to read, so I'd shut it out and give up on it. Going through this, my mom would always push me to read a book, but I just had no passion for doing so. I was so scared of reading out in class because I just felt embarrassed that I was not good as everyone else. In middle school, I realized how essential reading was. There was this teacher in middle school named Miss Sherwood. I would see her once a week and she would help me with all my schoolwork, including reading. Not only has she helped me with my reading, but the fully understanding of the importance of it as well. She has created a passion for me to want to be a teacher. Not only that, I would love to become a special education teacher or a resource teacher. I know how much of an impact my teachers have made on me. I would love nothing more to help a struggling student to overcome their challenges. I struggled every day with reading. When I was little, I was diagnosed with auditory processing disorder, meaning it was hard for me to comprehend the words on the pages. Overall, this was a setback in my early education. It was a challenge for me, but I love pushing myself every day to do better and to be better. Having struggled with reading has forced me to become who I am today. I have learned everything might be a little tougher for me or might take me a little longer to do my work than others, but that has never held me back. My relationship with reading has now grown so much. I don't so much read for fun, but is essential for my education and future career. Reading has also made me stronger in the way if something as difficult comes my way, it does not stop me from reaching my goals in life.